So one of the biggest struggles that many of us tend to have when trying to kind of level up our lives and level up ourselves so that we can ultimately have a better experience throughout life is a limited self-esteem or lack of confidence and a lack of belief in self, which then means that we often act small in relation to the things that we want to achieve or experience. Now, of course, this causes problems for us, not only on the, on the mental and emotional level, but also in our day-to-day -day lives because it will often affect our relationships. It will affect the things that we choose to partake in in life. So therefore we end up with a limited experience because we do less and less because we're worried about maybe not succeeding at this thing or maybe looking silly and things like that. And often we fail to go all in on the things such as the goals or the dreams or aspirations that we truly have because there is this part of us that holds us back and believes that it's not possible or that we are not good enough to have that thing. So, of course, one of the things that we need to do in order to experience a new reality where we can have these things and where we have the confidence and the belief in ourselves to actually take the actions required is that, of course, we need to work on that. We need to somehow find a way to boost our self-esteem. And the catch is it can take time for some if you're not kind of willing to let go of the version of you that exists right now, but with, with the with the right mindset and with consistent work, often you will find over a period of time, you can obviously become much better at doing the things you need to do and believing in yourself more, so therefore you take more ruthless action. Now, three simple uh, steps that I tend to lean on myself if I'm ever having these moments where I'm like, hmm, not sure if I can do this, I don't know if, if I'm good enough for this or if this or if I'm worthy of this thing. The first thing that I will do is we need to learn how to focus on what we can do. So quite often we feel like we're not good enough or our self-esteem is low or our confidence is low because we're focusing on things beyond what we're currently capable of. So like our goals and things, for example, we set them, but often they're so far away from us that it just seems impossible. Even though it's good to have those types of goals, sometimes we focus too much on that external outcome and the fact that we're not currently able to achieve it rather than focusing on what we can do right now. If you focus on what you can do right now, it's quite, um, sorry, it's much easier to identify where your strengths are in the moment. So often we're, we're kind of taught, oh, well, if you've got weaknesses, then work on them, bring them up and so on. But often that's counterintuitive and actually can be counterproductive. So what we need to do is actually work on where we're already strong. It's like, how can I lean on my current strengths in order to move me forward in the direction I'm looking to go? Now that might be that you're, you, you currently have a knowledge base in a particular thing, you might have a particular physical skill set, or you just might have certain abilities to make other people feel good and so on. Like your skills and strengths could be in any realm of life, but you're maybe just not taking those skills and strengths and applying them to the new thing that you're trying to achieve. So that's the first thing. Focus on what you're already strong at and grow that thing. Yes, you might work on some of your weaknesses along the way too, but leaning on your strengths will give you the confidence and belief in yourself to act now, not have to fix this thing and then act later. So that's our first thing. Now, the next thing that we need to do is stop comparing ourselves to others. Now, quite often, particularly with social media these days, we're bombarded with all these amazing people who are doing amazing things. The catch 22 is quite often we can't do those things because we're not trained or skilled in the thing that they are, they are good at or that they practiced over time. But what we do without realizing quite often is look at them and go, oh, well, they are amazing. I can't do that. So therefore, I'm not amazing. I'm terrible. I'm rubbish and so on. So what we need to do is ideally not compare to others and instead compare to who we were yesterday. By comparing to others, you're always going to find limitation or lack because there is always something else that somebody else can do better. The same as if they were to look at you, they would find that there are things that you can do better than them but hopefully they're not using that as fuel to beat themselves up and keep their confidence and self-esteem low. So what we need to do is go, okay, well, who do I need to be today in order to be better than who I was yesterday? And that is the only gauge you need or the only point of comparison you need. Am I doing that little bit more than I was yesterday or last week in order to move me towards my goal? And that's irrelevant of what others can or can't do or what they're currently achieving. What we know is if it can be achieved by somebody else, it likely can be achieved by us too if we were to model the actions and the, the mindsets and things that they took 
We just might have to do a little bit of personal development work in order to get to that point where we can consistently take those actions. Which brings me on to my third point. Work on your personal development. Because we can never actually outgrow our current level of personal development in any field of life. So whether we're talking business, profession, um, career, etc., we will never be able to outperform the way we currently view ourselves. So our current level of personal development, if that's set here, we can only ever temporarily outperform that current level, which is why people will often achieve certain things and then somehow, without even realizing, sabotage it and end up back where they were. Same goes for um, fat loss and body transformation. You see people lose weight all the time and then they gain it back and more, and then they'll lose weight again and, and then gain it back again following that and they get caught in the sabotage cycle. And that's simply because their current level of personal development doesn't match the level at which they wish to to now live. So that's why we have to transform as an individual as we move through these stages and achieve these goals. We can't try to maintain them at the same level of mind and of heart and of spirit that we are right now. We have to be willing to level up and develop as an individual. Now, of course, ways we can do this are through books, personal development books. You could find yourself a coach of some sort, whether that's in a given field, so business, health, personal development, relationships, whatever area of life you need personal development in, you would find a coach for that thing. Or you would just study people that have been there and that already have the results that you want, and then you model what they did. Again, like I said, over time, you practice and you gradually move up to their level But just remember that quite likely, if they are leveling up too, they may always be perceived in your mind as being ahead. That doesn't mean you're not progressing. That just means perhaps you're both leveling up at the same rate. But because they were slightly ahead in the first place, they may remain ahead if they're continuing to level up as well. So again, be careful with that point of comparison and don't be going, oh, well, they're still way ahead of me. I'm doing all this work and I can't reach them. You're not trying to catch them. You're just trying to beat you. So those are my three main tips for overcoming low self-esteem, low confidence, and low belief in self. If you want me to dig deeper into this or you want some more tactics, let me know in the comments below. And of course, if not, I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Take care and I shall chat to you all soon.